Hey everyone, welcome back to Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours and thank you for joining me again here at the 2024 Louisville Manufactured Home Show. Now, one thing that we don't see a lot of at these shows are park models, but Skyline Champion brought one. So we have this Shoreline Park model to take a tour of. So let's get in there and check it out. Before we get inside though, of course we gotta check out the exterior. Right there, that little white door is where your water access is. I wanted to point that out as well as I wanted to point out these beautiful big windows letting all of that natural light in. I'm not sure if I mentioned it or not, but this home does have a loft, which is really cool. Now this home is the Shore Park model 1969SL built by Skyline Homes. This, of course, is a one bed, one bath, sitting at 399 square feet, because if we added one more square foot, it would no longer be a park model. This home sits at 34 feet 10 inches by 11 feet 2 inches across, and for this home, I'm going to guesstimate that this base price is just around $45,000 to $50,000. Let's go take a home tour. Where's Will? All right, let's open this sliding glass door and see what we have today. And speaking of which, there's a few different options of where you want to put the front door, either sliding glass door or a door. Click on the link in the description below to find out more about that. But take a look at this living room. The size of this living room is 15 feet 8 inches by 10 feet 6 inches and I love what they've done with it. I mean you have these big old windows here and then you have that accent wall behind the TV and that electric fireplace that's nice and hey before we really get going do me a favor and hit that like button it always helps us out helps the channel out and if you haven't done so consider hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell so then that way you'll be alerted to when a new home tour is posted you'll be the first to see it now of course we are in a park model and you have limited amount of space the sliding glass door is right there and they have a good amount of storage right there but what they've done for the dining space is they've made this um, eat-in counter right here. Seating for about four if you have guests over, as you see right there. Nice, smart use of space, I would have to say. I do like the lights up top. Those are pretty nice. We'll take a better look at those soon. But, see, told you, soon. Look at those lights. I love that deco style. We have the air conditioner right over there and the heater over there above the television, which is a nice spot. And then in here, we have some nice storage. You have adjustable shelves, soft cl close drawers, and doors. That's pretty nice. Now that one is a kind of a small door there and, you know, not much room. But see, we have some room in these, which is nice. And like I said, soft close. I love the sink design and style. I don't know why, but I always like that look. We have a nice pull-down faucet right there to spray anybody who's messing with you. And of course, as you see up there, we've got room for dust bunnies and more storage so that's nice this home is set up with the stainless steel appliance package we're going to take a look at in a minute but i wanted to show you this little coffee bar area a little more and see i like that backsplash i like that that back wall right there what do you think uh but back over here we have the microwave range hood more area for storage there nice gas stove now of course you could change that for electrical if needed um depending on where you're going to put this but so far, it's nice little galleyway kitchen, kind of tight, but not too tight, um, very comfortable. We have some storage over here as well. I mean, they've actually uh, given us a good amount of room to store some stuff in this little tiny home. I like that. I like that. Now let's check out the one bath in the home. I almost said guest bath because of course we always see about two bathrooms in a uh, manufactured home, but this one's nice. We've got the light around the mirror there, some storage above the toilet. Some people love that, some people don't. Tell me what you think about it in the comments below. But we have a nice resin tiled shower over here. Glass doors, really nice. About a four inch uh, step in and out. That is pretty nice, loving that. Now let's see what else we have. We're gonna go upstairs and check out this loft. Um, like I was saying, it has a nice little loft. Um, tight stairs here, not too many stairs, but taking a look, nice big windows for what it is up here, of course, and room for a bed. If you have guests over, you can you know put a bed up here. You can even put like a small um, couch to sit and watch TV. I've seen different variances up in the lofts, but use your imagination. What would you do with it? 
let me know in those comments below, of course. And then right there, we see a little more room for some dust bunnies. And uh, let's check out the bedroom in here. Now, walking in, we have a built-in dresser system and entertainment center, which is nice, and a closet to the left-hand side. As you see that little door right there by your built-in nightstands, that's where your electrical panels are. Just wanted to point that out. And what I do like is, you know, they have lighting on both sides with light switches, so if you're reading or whatnot, it's pretty cool. Hi, everybody. Mirrors, they always get you every time. Let's see what's in here. Well, more storage. Uh, ample space, not, not too big, but not too small either. You know, right here we have the drawers like I was saying. And that's a perfect spot up top um, for your TV or if you don't watch TV, whatever you want to put there. But plenty of storage. Big window back there. I like that. Um, but I also wanted to show you down here um, a nice little spot for some storage. Um, and your knickknacks are hidden or whatever. You know, but not a lot of spots have this there. Um, so that's pretty cool. I like that. I like that. I mean, this home is, you know, of course, a park model, all inclusive. You have your fridge comes with it, your stove, your microwave. Um, I didn't see much room for a washer and dryer, but hey, it's a park model, right? But thank you for joining me, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the home tour. We have some more coming from the Louisville Manufactured Home Show coming soon. Thank you again. Remember to live smarter choose manufactured, travel easy, and I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Thanks. Hey there everyone, it's Will with ManufacturedHomes.com. Welcome back to Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours, and thank you for spending some time with me today here on the channel. Today, I'm out in Puyallup, Washington, visiting Detroit's Custom Housing, and what I found for us today is a cute, quaint, and cozy single-wide built-by-kit custom home builders. So, let's get in here. I'm going to tell you all about this awesome home. Today, everyone, we are taking a tour of a popular floor plan up here in the Pacific Northwest. This is the Cedar Canyon LS2071, built by Kit Custom Home Builders. This floor plan actually has a few options where you can have loft storage, more space, and even a half bath. But this one is a two-bed, one bath that sits at 660 square feet. As you see, we have a nice 8-foot by 14-foot porch. The dimensions of this home is 14 feet 9 inches by 52 feet 9 inches, and the base price for this model, $75,000. Let's go take a home tour. Where's Will? All right, so moving right along, taking a look at the inside of this home, what I'm seeing are seven and a half foot side walls, can lighting everywhere, and some awesome transom windows, letting some extra natural light in above the other windows. The size of this living room and kitchen area is 18 feet, four inches by 14 feet, nine inches. So if you cut that in half, your living room is just about nine and a half feet by 14 feet. And hey, before we get going, do me a favor, leave us a like, it helps out the channel and helps this video get to more people. And if you've considered it hit that subscribe button and that notification bell that way you'll be alerted to when a new home tour is posted you'll be able to see these as soon as i capture them uh, walking into the kitchen that little table right there is actually kind of smart that is a round table with pull out chairs you know any kind of uh space saving features you can find in a, in a uh, single wide manufactured home is great because of course in a single wide like this you don't have a true um, dining area so that's smart but this home does have an eating counter as you see we have space right there one and one on the other side um and They've done some pretty good um, stuff to this home regarding space. You know, we have a, a cupboard over here, down here. I'm uh, loving the backsplash, that gray, that blue, and that top. That's nice. And like I was saying, we have a uh, Lazy Susan on this side with two shelves. That's pretty cool. Over here, taking a look, we have a big dual sink with a nice window above letting that natural light in it does open and then right over here some more storage um, opportunities right there your shelf doesn't adjust that one does um, as you see we have the white appliance package set up for electrical but you could change that in the ordering process and then right over here we have another um, lazy susan for um, some more storage so you know they're they're trying to fit as much space into a home of this size as they can remember this is only 660 square feet i think it's pretty 
doing pretty good so far. We have a drawer bank right there of about four drawers. I think that's pretty much the only uh, spot in the kitchen area that does have drawers. So there's that. And we have some storage up above. And of course, as you know, these appliances do come with the home. I'm loving the tile look on the floor. Nice. I mean, the whole aesthetic here, it may be small, but it's really nice, really cute and quaint. I like that. And now, you know what, let's make our way towards the uh, guest area, check it out here. One thing I do like is there's a lot of light in the hallway here. You always need a window in the hallway in a single wide, and they have a few here, which is pretty cool. We're gonna take a look at the uh, first, the guest bath here. And again, trying to smash up as much space as they can. They have some linen storage right there. We have a drawer bank right next to that with your single uh, vanity here. And your uh, standard, this is about a 42 inch shower, I believe. Um, wrap around tile, no worry about mold or anything. It's all inclusive. The drop down there is about a four inch step and a nice transom window up top. Um, in this home, we have a uh, elongated toilet. That's really nice. And then again, space saving features. Right over here, what they have is a spot for your stackable washer and dryer. So everything is right here. Pretty smart in my opinion. Again, it's set up for electrical, but in that ordering process, if you need gas, you can change that. So that's pretty cool. And then again, some more storage here. And you know, like I said, there's some options with this home. There is, you know, an optional optional loft and other things. If you want to know more about that, there's a link in the description below. Click on that. It'll take you directly to this floor plan where you can see some more photos, videos, 3D tours, and get that pricing directly from a retailer near you. Um, and right here, as you see, that is your HVAC unit right in the middle of the home. And now we're going to walk in and check out the uh, first guest room. Now the guest room here, is actually for the size of this home pretty spacious at 11 feet 5 inches by 9 feet 1 inches 1 inch excuse me that's actually not too bad um, and then right over here you have a nice small closet that they've used for some storage and then right there behind that stuff that is where your water access is so in this home that's where it's located um, I'm not sure if you noticed or not but of course I did all your registers are on the floor so you're heating and air coming from below so and then moving right along we're going to take a look at the primary here um, which is again a decent size for a home of this size now the size of this one is nine feet five inches by 14 feet nine inches pretty decent we have a queen size bed sitting in this room so it gives you a decent idea of how much space that will take you still have room for like dressers and drawers and, and things like that so it's not too tight it's not too tight at all i like the tiling in here it's not like the linoleum these are tiles it's really good looking and then in here we have wooden uh, coat rod wooden shelves with the reinforced shelving that's really nice that's that's an added bonus rounded corners through this home everything you know uh, i've seen a lot of kits uh the past couple of weeks here and i love them they are great um if you have a chance to go see them go check them out they are unique they are nice and um i can't wait to go see another one so thank you everyone for joining me on this home tour stay tuned for the next one this one was a small one the next one's gonna be a huge one but again thanks for joining me remember to live smarter choose manufactured have a wonderful day and travel easy. Hey everyone, it's Will with ManufacturedHomes.com. Welcome back to Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours and thank you for hanging out with me today. Today I'm in Woodburn, Oregon over at Factory Expo Home Centers and we are gonna take a tour of this cozy, little RV park model I found called the Gervais. So let's get going because I'm going to tell you all about it. Let's walk around this home. So right there, that gray box, that is your electrical panel right there. And that cutout right here, that's where your water access is. This side of the house has three windows looking pretty nice. And in front of this house, we have a very nice optional 
bay window setup right here. And you can also add a, a porch to this model. You can get a, an eight foot or a 10 foot porch, which I think would be really nice looking. This home comes from the Cascadia value line known as the Gervais. This model 12321T built by Fleetwood Homes of Oregon. This is a one bed, one bath RV park model sitting at 357 square feet. The dimensions of this home, 32 feet by 11 feet, 10 inches. And the starting base price for this model is $56,000. Let's go take a home tour. Where's Will? That's right, everybody. $56,000 is the base price for this. So let's see what you get for that price. Walking in, we have a decent sized living room with some balances over all of those big windows. The size of this living room is 9 feet 11 inches by 11 feet 2 inches. And before we really get going, do me a favor, hit that like button. It always helps out the channel. It also helps this video get out to more people. And if you haven't done so yet, consider hitting that subscribe button so then you'll be able to see these tours as soon as I release them. But you know, back to this little home right here. You know, right here off to the left hand side, you have a decently sized area for a dining room. You know, you could sit about at least two, you know, three people comfortably there, depending on what type of table you get. But, you know, space is paramount in a home like this. And they're trying to give you a little bit there for your dining room. And then taking a look at this kitchen, the kitchen, we have a decent amount of storage and space in this home. We have dual sinks right here, a nice standard sink, nice backsplash with a great uh, countertop. This home is set up for uh, gas and a stainless steel appliance package. As you see, the microwave range hood is a nice touch. Again, space is important. Taking a look inside the cupboards, we have adjustable shelves, nicely constructed as well. And right there, we have a drawer bank with four drawers and decently sized. You know, they have a nice pull out there. You have some decent room in them. And then right over here, you have some more storage, uh, which is important. Again, you know, you have uh, some cupboards right here up top. You have an open shelf above the refrigerator and a cupboard down below. So that's great, that's smart. And then right over here, this home has a side door. So, you know, you can come in the side door or the sliding glass door. You make that choice when you come home um, in the evening. And then right here next to that door, we have a, a nicely sized coat closet with a wire shelf in there, which is a nice size. And I can definitely hang all the coats that I have and, and store some stuff in there. So that's pretty cool. That is the view coming out of uh, your bedroom area. But let's go check out the uh, bathroom. The bathroom here is actually a, a nice size. We have a full bathroom here. We have a single uh, vanity with some storage underneath. Right next door to that, you have your elongated um, toilet and a nice mirror. And again, this home has can lighting everywhere, so that's your lighting. Uh, there's that transom window we saw outside. And then this is a decent size shower tub combo wraparound, which makes it nice and easy because you're not going to get any kind of mold or water you know what I mean, seeping through there. So that is really nice. And now let's keep going and check out the bedroom. Again, we have these uh, um, these vaulted ceilings going up to the middle, gives you a nice um, illusion of space, which is always great. You know, especially for the size of this home, the size of this bedroom is eight feet, eight inches by nine feet, four inches. Really nice sized. And we're gonna take a look in here in the closet area here nicely sized we have that wire shelf looking through everything some more valances that's a nice touch into uh, for the uh, for the windows I like that and that's an optional bay setup in the back which I kind of like personally and this house is actually rather nice rather spacious for you know being only 357 square feet you know um, one floor we don't have a loft in this one and um, one thing that I was also looking for that we don't have is a laundry setup. So take that in consideration. I did not see a spot for your stackables, but hey, that is an option that you can absolutely add to this home. So if you want to know more information about that, click on the link in the description below. That'll take you directly to this floor plan. You can see some more photos and videos, see all the options that you could do with this house. So check it out. And until next time, everyone, thank you for joining me. Live smarter, choose manufactured, have a great day, travel easy. Hey everyone, 
Welcome back to Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours. Thanks for clicking on the video and welcome to Biloxi, Mississippi for the 2024 Biloxi Home Show. Today, we're gonna have a chance to tour this awesome park model right behind me. So without any further delay, let's get going so I can tell you about it. I have toured a lot of park models in my day, but let me tell you, this one right here, I'm excited to tour. I love the style, design, look, and color of this home. Those brown accents on the darkened exterior with the blacked out windows and doors, that is amazing. Look at all those transom windows, lots of natural light, but what we're looking at everyone is the wedge, 13382A. This is of course a park model built by Chariot Eagle in Ocala, Florida. Now this home right here is a two bed, one bath that sits at 499 square feet. The size of this home is 43 feet, nine inches by 13 feet. And I'm gonna guess this is gonna go for about 52,000 to $60,000. Let's go take a home tour. Where's Will? Now let's see if this interior matches the awesomeness of that exterior. And walking in, I'm gonna have to say yes so far. We've got eight foot side walls. And the one thing I didn't mention was the porch out there. That porch is six feet by 13 feet, and that is a nice size. And hey, before we really get going, do me a favor, leave the channel a like. That always helps us out, and it also helps this video get out to more people. And if you haven't done so, consider hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell, so then that way you'll be alerted to when these new homes are posted. But take a look, this home even comes with ample room for a dining area. Now that is big when it comes to park models because you only have, you know, a small amount of square feet and this living room the size of this living room is nine feet eight inches by 12 feet four inches and that is a great amount of room and hey let's spin around and take a look at this kitchen it's small but it is sure mighty it looks like it comes with the stainless steel appliance package it also has this great sink right here nice big open sink and plenty of counter space i mean take a look at that this one even comes with a smaller dishwasher we've got a glass top stove which is great and a microwave range hood with again plenty of storage room up top take a look at that we have adjustable shelves in the cupboards we have a drawer bank right here of four drawers nice and strong and like I said, we have the stainless steel appliance package, which of course in the ordering process, you can change to either be black or white depending on your accent choices. But take a look at the stove. I love it. These new style designs, the, the everything's going through the back. You don't even re really need that range hood, which is really cool. Nice um, 18 square foot square cubic foot uh, refrigerator comes with the home, which is great. And like I said, we have some storage up there. But so far, that is great. Let me know what you think about this home so far in the comments below. That would be awesome. And hey, you know what? Even more so, this home comes with an area for your washer and dryer hookups. Now, you don't see a lot of that in a lot of park models because, again, that space is paramount. So they, they are cramming a lot into this small space. I'm loving that. And then, you know, this is, of course, a two-bedroom. Now, let's take a look at this two-bedroom, this first bedroom, which... The size of this bedroom is seven feet, 11 inches by six feet, six inches. And what I love about this home is that it has the bunk beds already built in with the lighting there, with the electrical hookups, uh, a little uh, shelf right there for your stuff. This is fantastic. I mean, you're already built in. If you know you have your grandkids coming over or even your kids, you're already set up where they have a place to stay and some storage for their clothes. That is amazing nice big window of course letting that natural light in this home comes with a little tiny locker right here which helps you know get ready sit down put your shoes on hang up your clothes that is a decent um faux closet if if you will that is really cool um this one also comes with the uh, the door out there to the side but let's check out this bathroom now this bathroom again small size big features. I love the resin tile right here. You have that transom window up top, letting that natural light in. And I mean, just look at the craftsmanship that Chariot Eagle and Cavco has done to this home. I love it. We have an elongated water saving commode right there, which is awesome. And a single vanity with a big, big mirror to get ready in the morning. So if you do need to share that space and get ready, you do have a little bit of room to do that. So that is cool. We have rocker switches throughout the entire home, which is great. 
And one thing that I like about this home is we have not seen the water heater. That water heater is nice and hidden out here in uh, the, uh, the primary room. I don't even think we'll be able to get to it. But again, we have this nice accent wall in this primary. We have a queen bed sitting here, built-in lighting, big transom window, natural light, of course, and the size of this bedroom is 7 feet 10 inches by 10 feet 4 inches. And take a look at that. You have your, your ceiling fan. You have a built-in um, storage area right there with four drawers underneath that right there. Underneath here to the right, I believe that is where we have the water heater that is hidden. It does come with a nice size closet here. But it could probably use a little bit more space for at least the wife's clothes. I don't know about mine, but hey, that's nice. But take a look. We have a wire shelf in here. Nice big closet with two shelves, as a matter of fact. And of course, those windows letting that natural line in. But this home is awesome. It may be small, but I would have to say it is huge uh, with features. So take a look at it. There's a link in the description below. It'll take you directly to this floor plan where you can see some photos, videos, and more and get that pricing directly from a retailer near you. Thank you everybody for joining me today on Where's Wills and I will see you next time wherever that home tour will be. But in the meantime, of course, live smarter, choose manufactured, have a wonderful day and, it, and as always, travel easy. See you next time. Hey everyone, it's Will with ManufacturedHomes.com. Welcome back to Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours and thank you for spending some time with me today here on the channel. Today I'm in Nampa, Idaho visiting United Family Homes and if you're in the market for a single wide, I might have just found one for you. This one right here is an exceptional single wide that even has some loft storage. So, let's get going. I'm going to tell you all about it. I hope everyone out there is having an amazing day wherever you are. Today, like I said, I am here at United Family Homes in Nampa, Idaho, and just take a look at this single wide. I mean, I love the two-tone color scheme on this, the big windows right there on that porch. That porch, you know, the size of that porch is 8 feet by 14 feet, 9 inches. That is huge. And right over here, you see more windows. And look right there. That is where your loft is up there. So you have some storage capabilities we're going to check out when we go in. But this right here is the Cedar Canyon LS2071. This is about the fourth version of it, built by Kit Custom Home Builders. It is a two-bed, one-bath, sitting at 660 square feet. But with the porch, it makes it 778 square feet. The starting price for this is about $78,000. Let's go take a home tour. Where's Will? As you can see walking in today, everyone, this home is not staged or furnished, but I really wanted to show you this home because I thought it was actually rather unique, you know, especially with the loft storage upstairs that you don't usually have in a home like this. And this is just a cool little single wide. I mean, take a look. We're going to spin around. I love the light wood in the home uh, in contrast to the dark wood. And look at that window. That is a gorgeous but before we get any further do me a favor hit that like button let us know we're doing something good and it also helps out the channel and if you haven't done so already how about hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell that way you'll always be alerted to when a new home tour is posted you'll be able to follow along and see all of these home tours as I capture them so let's go check out this kitchen here and like I said we have this kind of like a knotty pine like a light wood I like it in this home as you see there's not really much room for a uh, dining area but the cool thing is is that whole counter is kind of is, is an eat-in counter and you can easily use that I'm loving this big inset sink right here with that pull down faucet that's really nice and of course that window right there it does open which is even better so taking a look at the inside of the cupboards here and the cabinets you can see quality great construction real wood on the outside and we have a white color on the inside which I think is really cool as you can see as well we have the uh, stainless steel package here um, and we have the glass top stove and oven right there with the microwave range hood and nice 
French door refrigerator with your water um, and ice maker in there. That's really cool. And I mean, take a look. We have you know plenty of storage in this home. It is a small home, so I give kudos so far to what we have. Um, what do you guys think? Let me know in those comments below. But you know, I really like. I was saying, I love this light contrast. You know, this wood, light wood in contrast to the wood outside, it really kind of gives it a nice rustic feel. Let's go further down to this home. Now you see on the right hand side here, we have a transom window down the hallway, which is always appreciated. And now we're going to walk into this restroom, which actually surprised me. Um, I love what they're doing here um, with the restrooms and the way they build their homes. It's innovative in my opinion. I mean, I love the uh, the glass blocks there. Really nice big shower. Again, plenty of storage over here. And this is where your stackable washer and dryer would go in your home. Uh, there's the water shutoff valve right there on the right hand side, but everything is right here. Now, depending on what you would like, um, you know, being an actual, you know, laundry room or here, I personally in a home like this would rather have it here because we are saving so much space, you know, in the home. To me, it just makes sense. Um, what are your thoughts? Let me know. Now let's check out this, uh, this shower here. I mean, this beautifully tiled shower. Um, it is just gorgeous. And we have a rain shower head in here. Um, like I said, I love the glass blocks over there. Really well constructed. We have a, uh, a little tiny bench right there that you can uh, have a seat or store your shampoo if you need to. You know, but I mean, look at that. That is just nice, good construction. Um, nice style, nice design. Um, spinning around over here, you have the same, you know, wood tone for your vanity and your uh, mirrors, which is cool. Um, this is really nice, and and that transom window even you know helps let some natural light into that uh, bathroom, which is cool in my opinion. And now let's keep going down this hallway right here. As you see, that is where your air conditioning unit would be, or your HVAC. Um, and then we're gonna skip this room and show you where your electrical panel is, which I like it because it looks like another cupboard. You don't know it's an electrical panel. And now going into the first bedroom. Now the first bedroom is is in my opinion rather small um, you know the size of this room is nine feet four inches by ten feet four inches which you know doesn't sound small but when you look over here and you take a look at where your water access is that's it right there and then when you need to get upstairs you have to pull down um, the ladder you just have to keep that in mind when you're when you're creating you know your space in this room like personally I would use this as an office because then that would make everything you know easier for me to access the top and to kind of keep everything away from you know that ladder um, and the water access nice size closet here there's another um, I think that's another shutoff valve or something right there um, but so far pretty good now this of course flips up puts up it's really nice it's um it's functional it's functional and it's not that big it is a tight spot so you know just be careful when you go up, I figured that one out rather quickly. Uh, but let's take a look up here. The clearance up here from the side walls is about two feet. Um, and then it goes up to about like three and a half, four feet. A decent amount of uh, room up here. You know, what you could also do is, as I just thought about it, um, and there's all of your uh, your things that goes with the home. There's your insulation. Is You know, what if you put a, a, your bed up here? You know what I mean? And um, kept your stuff down there. That might work out pretty well too if you consider, you know, um, the space up here and the space down there. So just a thought, what do you think? Let me know, let me know. And see that same wood that's in that construction is the same wood that is, you know, circling your doors. So good quality construction in this home so far. And now we are gonna come and check out the uh, primary room here. As you can see, nice uh, big vaulted ceiling, seven and a half foot side walls all the way up. Um, it's looking really nice. The size of the primary is nine feet, five inches by 13 feet, um, nine inches, which is actually a pretty decent amount of space. Um, and then, of course, you know, with the with the vaulted ceilings here, it really makes it feel bigger than what it really is. So that's always a nice thing as well. Taking a look, you have a bigger closet in this room, of course. Um, good shelving. We have a nice uh, coat rod in there. 
Looking really nice. And a big window to let that natural light in, which is cool. But this home, actually, I thought it was just unique. It's different. That's the thing about kits, is their homes are a little different. They're built up in the Pacific Northwest in that general area, so they build and cater to that area. And this home, honestly, I dug it. I love it. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And you know what? I forgot to mention that this living room size is 9 feet by 13 feet 9 inches but thank you again everybody for joining me today on where's wills manufactured home tours i truly appreciate everyone's time support and everything else but you know until next time i see you remember to live smarter choose manufactured and as always travel easy Hey everyone, it's Will with ManufacturedHomes.com. Welcome back to Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours and thank you for clicking on this video and hanging out with me today here on the channel. It is always appreciated. Now today in my travels, I have found myself in Tyler, Texas at a brand new community development here. This is Las Lomas and this right here right behind me is one of their fantastic homes ready for you to come and take a look at. This home is built by Oak Creek of Fort Worth and let's get going because I'm going to tell you all about it. I am so excited to be here in Tyler, Texas visiting Las Lomas because when this community is all done and built this will be a fantastic place to live. I mean they already have a playground built, a pool, world-class gymnasium, a basketball court and a business and conference center waiting for you. And don't even get me started on the best in business customer service that I have seen take place since I've been here. But let's start talking about this home and these beautiful windows. What we're looking at today is the Eagle J56 FP8 built by Oak Creek Homes. This is a two bed, two bath that sits at 980 square feet and the dimensions of the home is 65 feet by 17 feet, six inches. This home's asking price is in the early $90,000 range. Let's go take a home tour. Where's Will? Let's see the interior of this fantastic home here at Las Lomas. Walking in, we've got an open concept floor plan. We've also got seven and a half foot sidewalls vaulting to center right there. Spinning around the size of this living room is 11 feet, three inches by 16 feet. And we have a lot of windows letting that natural light in. But hey, before we really get going, do me a favor and hit that like button. That one helps out the channel, two gets this video out to more people. And if you haven't done so, consider hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell. So then that way you'll be able to see these home tours as soon as I post them. Back to this house. This is a gorgeous home. Take a look, I see the vents in the ceiling, which is an added bonus. So that's where your air and heat are coming from. But let's walk ourselves into the kitchen and check it out. I'm loving all the shaker cabinets. It seems like we have plenty of storage in this home and a nice size uh, lifted island here. It doesn't seem too cumbersome. Seems like it's placed just right here in the home. We have the black appliance package set up in this home. Now this is of course comes with this home, but if you were to order this home from a dealership, of course, you know, you could change those colors if you like. Now let's check out some of the uh, storage here. We've got adjustable shelves, which is nice. I like that wood tone on the inside. That is a nice contrast to the white. I actually expected to see a white cabinet when I opened that up, but I mean, this kitchen is nicely sized. Um, it's it's, it's nice. Taking a look, we've got a drawer bank over here right next to your uh, stove here with the glass top. We've got a microwave range hood, which is awesome. And then right over here, we have a dual sink with a pull out faucet. And that pulls out pretty far, I'd have to say. Nice uh, window right above that to um, take a look. And hey, that's what you're going to be seeing. And that's going to be your neighbor over there eventually when they put that home there. Um, but over here, we're going to take a look at some of the um, storage. Hey, you got plenty of storage for goldfish there and adjustable shelves, which is nice. I do like the countertop design and I do like the backsplash, but we have some more drawers over here, over doors, which are awesome. 
And like I said, I do like that wood tone over there. Um, I like the marble looking um, countertop. That is a nice design. And I love the checkerboard uh, backsplash. That kind of just ties all of the colors together. And then right over here, like I said, we have a lifted um, island, which is pretty much an eat-in island because this is a single wide and they don't have too much, you know, it doesn't have too much room for a dining room. So, you know, We've utilized, utilized the space here, which I can think, yeah, you could probably fit about four people at least there, which is pretty nice. Now let's make our way down to uh, the back of the home. But first, this right here is where your furnace or air conditioning unit is. HVAC, whatever you'd like to call it. That is where that is situated. Uh, nicely put in the middle of the home because, you know, um, that that actually seems to, to push out the air a lot better. You're not pushing it from one side of the house to the other. You're pushing all that air from the middle and it helps that circulation rather well. And now we're in the, uh, the guest room here. Now the guest room size is nine feet, eight inches by 11 feet, five inches ish. Um, it's a close, uh, a close measurement right there. We have a, a nice sized room though. We have a, a twin setup right here. So that kind of gives you a good idea of how much room you'll have in this uh, bedroom. And then the uh, closet here, uh, we've got a wooden um, coat rod and a wooden shelf. That is very nice. This home is tape and texture throughout. Um, no board and batten, which is even awesomer. Um, spinning around over here, taking a look at this long hallway. We don't have a window in the hallway, but we have plenty of windows everywhere else. So it just kind of floods the hallway, which is nice. And then right over here, this is where you would put your stackable washer and dryer setup. That is the spot right there. So spinning around, we're going to go take a look at the uh, guest bath in a minute, or the main bath really. But first, this is where your electrical panel is. And I love the fact that they, you know, built a kind of a cupboard looking thing around it. So you don't necessarily know that is the electrical box, um, which is really cool. And now coming in to the uh, guest bath, as a matter of fact, this is a two bed, two bath. I forgot. This is a nice sized guest bath right here. We have a framed mirror, which is looking great. I love the same motif that they have in the kitchen. They used it over here for the backsplash and the countertop. You have some storage above the toilet. I do believe some call it an étage. I'm not sure. What do you call it? Let me know in the comments below. And then we have a nice, uh, nicely tiled shower right here. This is nice. We have the transom window right there, letting that natural light in. Um, and look at this nice new tiny shile. Tiny, shiny tile. Strike that, reverse it. <laughs> And we have a step off of about six inches right there. It's not too bad, but you know, you do have a step down. Um, and taking a look at the other side, we have the single vanity there. That is looking great. And now let's go check out the primary. Now the primary bedroom size is 11 feet, four inches by 15 feet ish. So just about on those measurements. Again, the vaulted ceilings kind of give you a nice um, sense of room space. It makes it seem and feel bigger, which is really nice. Um, nice big window right over there, letting all that natural light in. And as, like I said, all the vents are up top. So that is pretty nice. There you go. You could kind of get a good size reference with that. That's a queen bed in here. And let's see what's in the uh, closet here, how much room you have. It's a pretty decent sized closet, I'd have to say. Over on this side, you've got your wooden shelf and your wooden coat rod, which is awesome. And then spinning around over here, this is where we find our water access. So, which is convenient because there's a shelf there. And that's where you can put your tools to get in there. So that's convenient. But now this primary is pretty darn nice. So let's go see what the primary bath has for us today. Looking pretty nice. The same style motif, shaker cabinets all the way down, a little bit of a gray color. Um, the backsplash, same. I love that checkerboard. For some reason, all of that just kind of ties it all in. And we have a nice and big tiled shower here. Let's take a look at that. 
Now, if you want to know more about this home, there's been a link uh, uh, on the screen for most of the time here. And also, there's a link in the description if you want to uh, go to Las Lomas, take a look at all of what's going on there and their other properties. And if you'd like to know more information about this home, there's also the link directly to the home where you can take a 3D tour, see some photos, um, maybe see some video. And if you're looking for this home outside of Tyler, Texas, you can get the price directly from a retailer near you now if you are in Tyler Texas or in this general area take a look come see this in person because this is an absolute gorgeous home and an amazing staff um, I met them when I got here and they have just been nothing but amazing um, and if I wanted to live in, in Texas I would definitely look at this community because the amenities that they're coming out with, I wish I could show you more, but they are in the process of building everything. But those videos will be coming shortly uh, to show you this community and some other ones that I have found that are just absolutely darling. But thank you everyone for joining me today. I hope to see you again wherever that next home tour is going to be. But of course, in the meantime, live smarter, choose manufactured, travel easy, and have some wonderful days. I'll see you on the next home tour, everyone.